and Company certified public accountants believe that your bottom line is as important to them as it is to you. Why? Because they care about the things that you care about. Whereas most accountants can take your numbers and put them on financial statements and tax returns, Bluestein and Michael work with you through the year to help you solve problems by providing sound professional advice. They enable you to make key business decisions, and they are with you throughout the entire year, not just tax time. Bluestein and Michael are not just hired hands. They are part of your team, and they provide professional service when you need it most. Bluestein and Michael specialize in accounting, tax, and consulting services for small businesses, primarily for the construction industry. If you're looking for yes men, hire someone else. But if you want sound advice from service-oriented CPAs, then you'll want to call Bluestein and Michael at 215-635-3200. That's Bluestein and Michael at 215-635-3200. Hey fans, the Sports Fan Base Network is offering player shoutouts on every Flyers Cup game live stream. Give your favorite player their 15 seconds of fame. Just send $25 via Venmo or Cash App to the SFBN. Then you send an email to the SFBN at gmail.com with the name and team of your player, a high resolution photo, and a one to two line script for the SFBN commentators to read. Once the payment and email is completed, SFBN will reply to confirm receipt and you will see your player shout-out at least once per game played. So send out a player shout-out for every Flyers Cup broadcast here on the Sports Fan Base Network. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the Sports Fan Base Network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. It is a championship rematch. One year later, it's Avon Grove and Downingtown West 
right in the same spot playing for Flyers Cup supremacy. And they say three is a magic number, and without a doubt, you'll have to watch out for number three in blue tonight, Ava Thomas on Downingtown West. But tonight, as we head into this matchup, 10 is the magic number. 10. That's how many times Ava Thomas lit the lamp. That's right, 10 goals in last year's championship in the win for Downingtown West against Avon Grove. But 10 once again is how many goals Avon Grove scored in their semifinal against Conestoga. In fact, they won by 10. 10 to nothing. Ava Thomas starting with a gold medal representing Team USA at this year's World Juniors. Two Flyers Cups. And she's got plenty more hardware that we'll get to later on in this broadcast. She looks to do something that no school has done since 2019, and that's defend a Flyers Cup in the girls' bracket. But flip it over to the other side. Avon Grove has a lot of firepower and are certainly hungry. Skylar Campanilla and the Avon Grove Red Devils look for their first Flyers Cup in program history. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We have puck drop in the Flyers Cup Championship, and it's coming up next here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. I'm Josh Safran. I'll be calling the game with you for the rest of the night. We'll see you soon in just a few minutes. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. The Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall showcases. Or surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Padulary in Feasterville, Travos today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey Flyers fans, baseball is right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed season with an opening night celebration on Tuesday, June 4th. Come out for our Margaritaville weekend from June 7th through the 9th. Be a part of our Heart Healthy Night on June 25th and celebrate the 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with Dollar Hot Dogs and Kids Eat Free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and Fireworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There is something going on at every Thunder game in 2024. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you are a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866 pay -Easy. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful, spirited, fiery. A blue hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on into the Flyers Cup YouTube. We have the championship. We're just about set to go here from PNY Arena in Westchester. And, well, I already gave you my intro. I just wanted to take a quick moment in case you're wondering what you just saw or couldn't hear it. It was uh, Philadelphia Blind Hockey, the first blind hockey team in Philadelphia. Great work that the Flyers Cup does with Philadelphia Blind Hockey. So... If you want to check them out, I'll get you that website in one second for you. As Thank you for holding. It's Philadelphia Blind Hockey. And if you want to go give them a look, you can just type that into the old Google and find out more. Great work they do over there. Big shout out here to Eric Ty as well for making this all possible. Such a fun event every year, the Flyers Cup. And we are in uncharted territory, at least in the girls' bracket. You have an A Avon Grove team that it's, it's, it sounds crazy to say that they haven't won a Flyers' Cup in program history. They've had such a good team for a couple years now. And just to sum up the dominance of this team, not only are they 19-1 and on the season, that, that doesn't do it justice. Uh, after their last semifinal game, their scoring team's 146-28. to and like I said earlier, this this was the match of last year as well. Not really a huge surprise, although Westchester Henderson really put up a good fight in the semifinals against Downingtown West. Downingtown West obviously won that one by a score of five to four. Avon Grove they beat Conestoga ten to nothing, but throw it all out the window. Huge face off to start as Skyler Campanelli beats Ava Thomas on the opening face off, and we are underway here in Westchester for the Flyers Cup Championship. Man, oh man, what a treat it is to be calling the championship here. Should have some great action. Should be no shortage of goals here. There was 21 combined last time these two teams met up as picked away by Ava Thomas. Watch out. Look at the moves dazzling inside, but better defense as she gets spilled along the boards. That puck will roll all the way down. No icing there. Sawyer Mitchell goes and picks it up well before the red line, but it's a defensive zone turnover. It looks like that's Maggie Sullivan getting back there and making life difficult, but Ava Thomas all the way back the other end. Has it taken away? Got to be careful here. That was Lily Schindler. She had a fantastic semifinal. Had a hat trick against Conestoga. So the whippets clear the blue line, but it's picked away by Skylar Campanelli. She holds, turns back, fires a shot over the head of Violet Clark, and Violet Clark is in net for the Whippets. It's Ella Hadutsky on the other end in net for the Red Devils of Avon Grove. Just trying to poke it out here is Riley Sager. She cannot. Skyler Green takes it away. Green whiffs on the pass. Nice defense from Maddie Vitale. Didn't do too much that time, just fundamentals. So a matchup to watch out for. Those Red Devils are going after Ava Thomas, even without the puck. But hold that thought. The Whippets trying to take advantage of a seam in the defense. 
Not a bad look from Sarah Goodman, just couldn't get it on net in time. And with some speed and a lot of open ice, here comes Skyler Green. Green fires on net into the stomach of Violet Clark. And that'll get a loud cheer from the Whippets bench. So Ava Thomas, you're gonna be hearing her name a ton tonight. But she's got her work cut out for her tonight. Ava Thomas, she's a member of Team USA, took home a gold medal in the U18 World Juniors and a gold medal win against Canada. But she has her work cut out tonight on the other end for Avon Grove as that's loose in the crease there for a moment. Well, the Whippets are able to clear. Watch out for Skyler Campanilli as Thomas cuts in and out of the defense. Tries to throw it on net but ran out of room. Campanilli had a hat trick against Conestoga earlier this season. Came right back in the semis and then scored two goals and four assists just a week ago. That's light work for her. She had 32 goals and 25 assists in the regular season and she forced a turnover. Fires it on net. It's loose. Two stops made that time by Violet Clark. And the Whippets will thank her. So the star power is out tonight in the Flyers Cup Championship. Wouldn't have it any other way. We'll see what those two ladies can do. As an awkward bouncing puck is easily knocked away by Violet Clark. As hold on, a couple blocks. Whippets having a hard time clearing. Nice to nasty as Chloe Bogush. Stood tall, she'll send it all the way down and get the icing. I think that's an icing you'll live with if you're downing town west. She needed to break the motion and I'll say it again, Chloe Bogus that time really stood up tall, unintimidated by the flurry of shots. Got a couple of blocks in there. And while it might have been an icing, cleared the damage for the moment. So it'll be Ava Thomas and Maggie Sullivan on the face off. Avon Grove win the tie up, chip behind net. Sawyer Mitchell trying to take it out. She's able to clear the scrum for Ava Thomas to pick it up. The speed that Thomas can play with is uncanny, to say the least. That'll go all the way down. Should be an icing, and it will be. So Thomas, she was only able to play in eight games during the regular season here for the Whippets. What did she do in those eight games? Not too bad. 21 goals and five assists. Good enough to lead the team in goals and points. But she was only playing in eight games because she had to spend a lot of time playing for the uh, little thing called Team USA. Not sure if you ever heard of it. She's putting on the four check, heavy. Almost took it away. Now her teammate, Bree Hinkle, forced the turnover. Thomas had it on the backhand, laid it off to Zelesnik beautifully. Lesnick had it poked away, and so did Vitaly. Vitaly keeps in the blue line for a moment. She couldn't find it after it was ricocheted. Ooh, nice turnaround from Vitaly. Just couldn't handle the puck. And it looks like that's Emmy Sullivan. So Sullivan will dump. Avon Grove will change defenders. And Matty Vitaly will set up the offense here for the Whippets. Thomas didn't even know where the puck was. It was at her feet. Now she'll collect. And let's see what she can do. Flowing through the defense like it's nothing. A couple of moves, but then she stopped right at the crease. Saw this last week with Thomas. So close to getting a goal so many times. Backhand, glove saved nicely by Hadotsky. But you know, it's only a matter of time once Ava Thomas starts putting on the moves. Because like I said, a World Junior Championship, she beat Canada. She actually won player of the game against Switzerland in one of the six games that Team USA played in the World Junior Championships in an 8-1 victory. Avon Grove, though, they look very unintimidated. They have certainly game plan for her. It's impossible not to as Skyler Campanilli takes across the blue line, backhands behind the net. Green collects, throws it on net. It's blocked, rebound, poked out. So five minutes in, plenty of action, just the way you'd like it. No goals yet, but in a game as big as this, as Thomas lets one rip. Gotta be careful, Skyler Thomas! A pseudo wraparound, look down the goalie, said, huh, 
Where's my opening? Bang! Top left, and she made it look easy. First goal of the night, and that opens the scoring one nothing. Take another look. I say pseudo wrap around because it wasn't necessarily by design. It was right place, right time. She picked it up, stops, and instead of going on the far side, she goes weak side. That upper left hand corner. Man, does she make it look easy? Ava Thomas lights the lamp once. She only has nine more to go to tie her number from last year's championship. That's unbelievable. So the assist goes to Riley Sagers. One nothing for the Whippets. And for Avon Grove, there's not too much you can do about that. Ava Thomas is gonna, she, she'll certainly get hers tonight. But this is an Avon Grove team, like I've said, and like we've seen based on last year's championship. They have firepower of their own. Maggie Sullivan skated that one right into the official skate. We got sticks going into the bench. Watch out, coaches. Finally, Downingtown West able to get possession, but they having a hard time clearing. Great hustle. That's Maggie Sullivan sticking with it. Centering pass. It's loose. But played out nicely by Chloe Bogush. Bogush being pressed. It's loose. And wisely just diving on it is Violet Clark. She'll get a freeze. So you hear teams say this. In all sports, when you have star athletes, and a common theme is winning the shifts that Ava Thomas isn't on the ice. She plays an awful lot. She's on the ice right now. But she will have to come off the ice a few times. So can you slow her down enough while she's on the ice, and especially when she's off the ice, can you take advantage? Skylar Green flutters one on net off the mask of Violet Clark. And we'll get another freeze. 9.39 to go here in the first period. So we'll shift face-off circles. Once again, Campanelli and Ava Thomas will take it. Thomas wins it. Thomas in a speed skating battle. She'll win this one. But well, excellent defense back there. I think it was Brianna Register. Back to the points. Vitali. Vitali throws one on net. Got through. Nice save by Hadutsky. Mitchell keeps it in, but blocked away. Now coming back the other way. Skyler Campanelli stops on a dime. Looks. She's got Maloney. Maloney tries to jam it on net. Puck is loose. But a good recovery by Vitali. Oh man, this game can change in an instant. Zelesnik will recollect. Backhands ahead. Avon Grove having a tough time clearing, and they can't, as a matter of fact. Vitali. Good idea off the boards geometrically to Thomas. Thomas with a head up. Beautiful pass shot. One timer scores. What a pass. What a one timer. Madison Vitali puts it in, and the Whippets go up 2 0 early here in the first. You heard about how she can. Score at will, but look at what else she can do. First of all, nice pass to set that up, and it ends up being a give and go. Wow, straight out of the practice ice, off the boards from Vitali. Vitali says, let me find some open ice after I made this pass. Thomas, the IQ to a 10, and Vitali to finish the one-timer. So 2 nothing Downingtown West have come out hot. Avon Grove have had their share of shots on net. They've, I, I feel like it's fairly even, at least as far as time on attack metrics would go here. But, man, the scoring opportunities that Ava Thomas creates, even when she's not firing shots. Beautiful pass. Beautiful one-timer. Can Avon Grove answer? Bogish very early on, but she's been a rock defensively. Kept in by post. There's Bogish. What can she do with it? And wisely, she'll clear blue line. Zelesnik applying the pressure. Heads up pass from Miranda Post.
Schindler lulled everyone to sleep. Talk about finding open ice. She made her own. Lily Schindler picks up right where she left off in the semifinals. And that's just what the doctor ordered for the Red Devils. Take another look at this. She had this puck for an eternity. And she just kept finding open ice, open ice. Eventually got herself and I, I, it's hard pressed to call that a scoring slot. It's a tough angle. But Violet Clark left a little bit of the near side net open. And somehow Lily Schindler found it. Fireworks early on here in the championship. Two to one your score and this is fantastic hockey. Let me tell you. Talk about fantastic hockey. The defense from Brianna Register that time. I mean, you, that, that Wawa tastes a little sweeter when you're going home and say, yeah, I stopped a uh, world junior gold medalist today in the championship. No big deal. Seriously, though, I mean, that is an impressive feat. But as I say, now the whip, it's got a three on two, knifing inside, and once again, more defense. Register getting physical. They're letting the ladies play. I'd be remiss to not point out Molly Tercy as well in tandem with Brianna Register to make that stop. I mean, that was a three on two. A lot of trouble for Avon Grove. Nice defense there by the Red Devils. They say, all right, we see ya. Ava Thomas, your gold medal. We see ya, Downingtown West. You beat us last year, but we came to play tonight. Clear blue line, nice clearance by the Whippets. Ooh, Ava Thomas gets spilled. No call that time, they'll say incidental contact. Play on. Crossing blue line, it's Sullivan. Sullivan, it's like an awkward spin. It's still loose, I believe. I don't have an eye on it. Now I do. It's chipped up. It's chipped in. My goodness. What on earth? We're tied at two. We'll have to take another look and see if we can figure out exactly who scored there. But just tenacity in front of the net. It looks like Skylar Green's the one leading the charge. Let's see if we can take another look. So that puck, you can see it chip up right there. It looked like Clark got her glove on it and to, to be blunt with you I'm still not sure what will happen maybe only Skyler Green will know exactly what happened on that play I'll wait for the official announcement but she was leading the huddle uh, and the goal celebration blink you might miss it we're back even at two and yes it's official Skyler Green will get credit with the goal there What a swing as Vitali. That had a uh, puck had eyes that time. It was bouncing, trickling. Hadutsky wisely says, I don't want to mess with this. Let me just kick it away and leave to see another shot. And it was a good decision as Hadutsky gonna work as a clear when it's all said and done. All the way back to Clark. She'll pass it to Thomas, and Thomas will look to set up the offense. Let's see what Thomas does with it. Don't let her get ahead of steam. Oh, they did. Thomas going outside. Ooh, a shot. Hadutsky was looking behind her. But a nice save. Now a three on two for the time being for Avon Grove. Great recovery, Madison Vitali. This is just a different level of hockey, ladies and gentlemen. It's the championship for a reason. There's a lot of great competition this year, especially in the girls' division. But you're really seeing the cream of the crop tonight. Thomas gets past the defender. No signal. Are you kidding me? Did Hadutsky get a hand on that? I was just waiting for the goal signal. I'm not even sure. Let's take another look. I don't think Hadutsky even knew she had that one. Look at the move. Trying to just plops it right in. Hadutsky looked behind her. But she made the save. That's great positioning there. Ella Hadutsky not getting intimidated, not falling for every move. I don't know how. But Hadutsky stands her ground and makes a huge excuse me, save. Still even at two. Thomas plays the puck back, but couldn't maintain possession with the whippets and realizing she may have a three and one at Skyler Campanelli. Going to the backhand, reverses, fires on net. Beat everyone, but it also beat the net. Nice hustle from Tercy to keep it in. Tercy, good old area. Oh, better block Vitale. That'll leave a mark. Thomas, a lot of room. Deking out players left and right. One on one. Thomas goes forehand. Fires a shot wide to the left. 
Zalesnik picks it out. Thomas, they're letting her play. They're calling it both ways. Vitali, great shot, went off the pipe, but out. Back out of the blue line to Vitali. She's got Bogus on the other side, and well, she didn't mean to, but it works out. Bogus uh, tries one, but glove by Hadutsky. She'll get a freeze. Back and forth, non-stop action. We're pretty much exactly 12 minutes into the first period. All even at two, if you're just joining us, Downingtown West, they went up two nothing. First goal by Ava Thomas, second by Madison Vitali, and then quickly, Avon Grove answered. Stayed with it, stayed tenacious, didn't get down. And we're back even at two. Lily Schindler, she had the first goal for the Red Devils. She's looking to have the third, and we're gonna get a hooking. I believe a hooking, nonetheless, we're gonna get a penalty. Five on four, hockey for the next minute 30. Avon Grove will have the advantage. Indeed, it is a hook. It'll be Chloe Boga, who's had a fantastic game so far defensively. It's a tough loss here for the Whippets. Huge face off. Who else? No surprise here who's in the circle. Thomas and Campanelli. Thomas wins that one, but Whippets can't clear. Thomas wisely shovels that one out. And Thomas, you'll see she's on the penalty kill unit. She's on the power play unit. She's on the first line. That's also what she's on in World Juniors with Team USA. She's not the last girl on the bench. She does it all over there as well. Tough pass that time. Went off a skate of the whippets. Could have been trouble for Downingtown West. So far as that one actually comes up and caught someone there on the Downingtown West bench. It'll be a face-off. So far, only about 35 seconds into this penalty. It's how about Groves had it in the right zone, but haven't been able to do much with it. Good bend, don't break defense, for lack of a better term here. Downingtown West. Face-off win for Avon Groves. Skyler Green will take it. Trapped along the boards. Looks like that was Riley Sagers who chopped it all the way down for a clear. Taken away by Mellinger. Just like that, there's only 30 seconds left on this power play. So a momentum builder so far for the Whippets as Avon Grove was really coming back into this game. Been absolutely stifled by this Whippet penalty kill. Post will just float one on net, took an odd hop. And Clark opts to just redirect it away, opposed to gloving at Campanelli. Or no, excuse me, that's Skyler Green, who hit that puck out of midair. And we're gonna get a pretty rough hit. A penalty again coming up for Avon Grove, but the puck's still loose. Fired on wide, so the initial penalty is over. And another minute 30 will go on the board. Cross check will be the call, and well, whoever Going to the box, earned that one. <laughs> and that's Kyla Mellinger. As, well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go to the box for a minute and a half, I guess that's the way to do it. Not only was it a rough shot, also it was a good defensive play objectively and considering the situation. So, don't wanna be down another woman for a minute and a half, but who knows if that saved the goal. So Mellinger certainly got her money's worth. Two minutes to play here in the first period. It was an offensive showcase, but hold on. A shot from the slot just wide. And wow, look at Clark. She's everywhere. It was Kira Post on the shot. Kept in. Nice job that time. I think that was Register guarding the blue line. Indeed it was. But as I was saying, it was a flurry of offense and... So all of a sudden, a couple penalties, and well, it's forced the Whippets to play a lot more defensively, and they've done a good job of slowing down the Avon Grove attack. So, down a woman, but always dangerous, the Whippets. Four on five, shorthanded. Ava Thomas will take the face off. Now, I've been talking about her accolades in the World Juniors. She also had two goals and three assists. 
the semifinals last week against Westchester Henderson. And uh, they scored five goals. So, no, I'm not the biggest math guy here, but scored two goals, assist on three. She had a point for every goal downtown West had. Ooh, nice run that time from Chloe Bogush. Had to kind of just slap it from a near zone. But Bogus trying to make some magic happen. Short-handed, almost worked. Ten seconds left on the power play for the Red Devils. Thomas will take it away. 50 seconds to go here in period number one. Thomas skating through open ice, waiting for her fifth girl to come out on the ice. Now we're even. Thomas pulls it back. Great save by Hidutsky. I thought for sure Thomas had one there. Still not out of the woods. Tersey goes back to recollect. 30 seconds left in the period. Beautiful pass. A lot of ice to skate, but Mellinger had to make the play, and indeed she did. 20 seconds, maybe one last rush for the Whippets. Vitali off the boards nicely. Oh, look at that chemistry, but Campanelli, great discipline. She knew where it was coming. 10 seconds to go. Either team have one more rush. Four seconds, post, maybe one last shot. But nice awareness to get the block, and that's how the first period will end. It was Sawyer Mitchell on the block. Woo what a period, my goodness. It is the championship indeed. You are seeing it on display. It's an extra level of talent, athleticism, and just a hint of desperation in there as well. Josh Safran here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel. Just wanted to remind everyone out there that for all your Flyers Cup gear, please go to the Flyers Cup website and check out all the swag provided by Top Shelf. Man, oh man, 2-2 two, two, dead even after one. You can get yourself an Avon Grove gear to commemorate the first potential, potential, the first championship in program history or get a little Downingtown West gear for back-to-back -back champs. Hasn't been done since 2019. That wasn't that long ago, but still, you know, usually, especially in the high school ranks, once a team wins one, typically they rattle off a few more. It's, there's no NIL in high school, as far as I know. Just people aren't transferring like crazy. Typically, these units stay together. You build programs, and winning is contagious. The fact that there's no back-to-backs, a little unusual here. Downingtown West looking to do it. Just joining us, ladies and gents, Downingtown West went up 2-0. Thomas, David Thomas, got a scoring started. And Madison Vitale had the second. On the other side for Avon Grove, Lily Schindler. Beautiful goal. Skated all the way down to that right side of the slot. Violet Clark made herself big, but left a teensy hole on the right side of the net. Somehow Schindler found it and nailed it for the first goal for Avon Grove. And not too long after, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> I didn't even see what happened. We had a loose puck. I had thought Violet Clark initially got her hand on it. But that puck just stayed loose. There was body sticks everywhere. And somehow, Sky the Green Stick was the one that got it out of there and into the back of the net. Two to two. That period just ended with back-to-back -back penalties committed by the Whippets. Did an excellent job to kill both of those penalties off. And that's your reset, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we stand after one period all even at two couple standouts out there tonight. I would just want to point out Chloe Bogush on defense. And Ella Hadutsky in net for Avon Grove has made some dazzling saves. And Brianna Register defensively has done such a great job at stopping Ava Thomas. Thomas gets ahead of steam. It's intimidating. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And I think Register's done a really nice job tonight of Skating her ice, saying this is mine. But hold that thought as Thomas, crafty backhand. Is it in? Waiting on a whistle. Hedutsky made the initial save. It rolled under her leg. And it did not go in. Take a look at this. Such a crap. Oh, look at how fast she put that backhand in. But Hedutsky did recover and prevent it from crossing that line. Tie up one by the Red Devils. Schindler goes behind net, turns around. Smart play, using that net as a screen almost, but a turnover. Good play there by Skyler Campanelli. 
Took the puck away at the last moment. Could have been a slot shot for the Whippets. As another great glove save by Hadutsky. See Miranda Post putting her stick in front of Hadutsky saying, hey, 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 she's got the puck. Get away from my netminder. Just a couple freezes here. 45 seconds into period number two. This is exciting stuff. You know, usually once you get to this point in the game, one team really starts to pull ahead. If not in the goals category, you start to feel the ice tilting one direction. I, I so even. Such high level of hockey so far through one. Puck just laying there. Downingtown West may have gotten a bit fortunate. Play on. Kyla Mellinger. Tape to tape. Vitali will have one. It's loose. Oh, no one was crashing right side. It would have been a lot of trouble. And look at Kyla Mellinger. She's not letting that puck cross that blue line. There she is. She's guarding that blue line. Whiffs on the shot. Maybe an opportunity here for the Red Devils. Skyler Green gets it. Her in the netminder. Green, forehand, what a save! Violet Clark kept concentration, used her offhand and the stick to make sure that didn't go anywhere. Chloe Bogush, good series of moves. Trying to make out exactly who that was. It looks like that was Molly Tersi, the last line of defense. Ballinger, gloved away. I think that was Register. I saw the Savon Grove play against Conestoga. They won 10 to nothing, and it was a workmanlike 10 to nothing. They weren't celebrating too much. They were certainly locked in, but I, I feel like there's a different level that I wasn't able to see when they played last week. Really impressive stuff by the Red Devils tonight. And the Whippets, I've been Mentioning Ava Thomas a lot. Here she is with a shot. Ooh, another blocker save from Ella Hadutsky. It's loose. It was poked free by Thomas. It looked like Hadutsky had it, and Thomas got her stick in there to knock the puck loose. But Avon Grove, great concentration and stick to itiveness to not let that puck end up in the back of the net. To my point, it's not all Ava Thomas. Plays like that by Vitali. Have gotten the whip, it's very far. Laid it off to Hinkle, blocked away by Register. Another great defensive play by these Red Devils. Post, fires one on net. Easy save by Clark, who then gloves that one down. And we'll get an attacking zone draw for the Red Devils. End-to-end -end hockey, you get athletes like we have on the ice tonight, and it's one of the great things about hockey, right? And, and sure, we watch basketball, you know, coast to coast, throw a dunk down, and you know, it gets you all excited. That's just two points in the game with a ton of, you know, 200 points. The way that these ladies have been skating back and forth, turning defense into offense, spectacular to watch, and that is, Absolutely a game changer. You talk about a swing. So it was a bunch of whippets uh, offense. All of a sudden, Avon Grove with a break. But a great defensive zone draw from Downingtown West. But hold that thought. A three on one. Avon Grove in the slot. Ooh, lifted it up a bit too high. I think it was Skyler Green on the shot. Campanelli. Had it poked away. Captain Lily Schindler. Looking behind her. Ooh, tried to lift it over the glove of Clark. She did lift it over Clark, but not on net. Here comes Ava Thomas. Watch out, shot scored! Ava Thomas gliding through the ice. Calm, cool, collected. Finds the bottom right hand of the net. And she's back on the board. The Whippets have a one goal lead again. Take another look. Two defenders on her. Blows by Miranda Post with a subtle move. Uses her body to shield the defender on coming. Not too many moves this time. Laser focused and drills it into the right hand. So I shouldn't say drills it. That was a little bit more of a touch on that one. She's capable of drilling it. She took a little off on that shot. 
opted for more of an accuracy approach. And the Whippets are up by one. So Thomas, a goal, assist, and a goal already. Thomas' season, 21 goals and five assists in the regular season. But to be blunt, that's light work for Thomas. She had 39 goals and eight assists in eight games last season. Or excuse me, in nine games last year. So she had one extra game last season in the regular season. And in that one extra season, she had 39 or one extra game, 39 goals and eight assists. And this is her, I believe, fourth Flyers Cup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is her fourth Flyers Cup in hockey here. You're eligible in the eighth grade. It's Thomas. Looking to add to the accolades here. Centering pass, shot blocked away. Too many Avon Grove bodies in front. Of course, another great job by Thomas to make magic happen there. Thomas has won all tourney team. The highest scorer, Bobby Clark MVP. And the Westchester Player of the Year from the Daily News. Oh yeah, she did that twice, once in 2021. And another time in 2023. Lily Schindler, however, looking to spoil the party along with the Red Devils. But got to be careful. Vitali tried to outskate Tersi, but Tersi, nice discipline. Stuck with the puck the whole time. And the Red Devils with earned possession again. To race. And one that Maloney will win for the time being. Couple bodies hitting the ice for the Whippets, but they stick with the puck. Comes back out for Kyla Mellinger. She plays it to Vitali. Vitali content to dump it, just to keep it in the zone. Ten minutes to go here in the second period. Off the boards, Mellinger chases after it. Really, not much she could do with that. Red Devils are able to clear the zone now. It's Maggie Sullivan. She fires it all the way along the boards. Campanilli, beautiful stick lift from Bogish. But Campanilli took exception to that one. She steals it right back. Under 10 now. Oh, and just too much momentum. Maggie Sullivan knew it immediately. You can see her grimacing. She tried to keep that skate on, but just too early on her run. Tough timing there for the Red Devils. Certainly star power on both sides like I was saying you don't go outscoring opponents 146 to 28 without it Schindler she had three goals in the semi she's already got a goal tonight she finished the regular season with 26 goals on the air it's good for second best on the team next to Skyler Campanelli she had 32 goals 25 assists balanced attack from one of the two star Skylers on the team Skyler Green, 16 goals, 28 assists. A lot of scoring, obviously, these Red Devils, but while they do have a lot of power at the top of that lineup, these girls are very content to share the puck. Avon Grove looking for an answer. Shades of the first period where felt like Downingtown West was Starting to really get in control this game. As a rebound here. Somehow, Ella Hadunsky stays with the puck. I thought for sure the Whippets were going to find the back of the net. But it stays a one-goal game. Hadunsky has been fantastic tonight. So is Violet Clark for that matter. Hadunsky, for my best bet, has seen a few more shots. And it's, it's a subtlety right there. I think Ava Thomas... Purposely skated. Oh man, no icing. That's right on net. As in that clear, Ella Hadotsky was able to get her stick back, but I could be wrong. But I think I saw Eva Thomas kind of skate into the stick of Hadotsky, try to make it look accidental, and kind of, you know, oh, whoops, you do. Didn't mean to kick your skate or your stick away from me even more. High IQ play right there. Picked away. Fired on, blocked away. It looked like that was Sawyer Mitchell who got in front. 
Campanil, lot of open ice, has a shot. Ooh, fearless defending Sawyer Mitchell. Two blocks in a row. Still down here. Sagers using the body. Downingtown West coaching staff saying keep digging. And it's good motto there. Good words to live by as they kept digging and dug it right out. The Thomas, she's looking for Goodman all the way. Pulls it back. And, well, Thomas could have... Uh, she could have chopped that down, but she decided, you know what? I want to take this myself and get some open ice. All the way down. Tercy wisely fires it away. She had Ava Thomas right on her back. Nice job by Sagers to keep it in. Sarah Goodman will look to collect. But better play defensively by Avon Grove. Kyla Mellinger fires one on net into the chest of Ella Hadutsky, and we'll get a freeze. Just joining us, welcome on into the Flyers Cup YouTube, uh, to, uh, excuse me, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Josh Safran here on the call. We're, wow, this game is flying by. We are more than halfway through this game. 2-0, uh, Whippets went up. Ivan Grove fired back with two goals of their own. We. Sat scoreless for a lot of the second period, but recently Ava Thomas fired one on net, go earned herself a breakaway, and got a goal on the right-hand side of the net. Avon Grove have been really impressive to watch here on faceoffs, as calling them the Westchester Henderson Downingtown West game last week. I I'm not sure. You can probably count on your hands. How many face-offs Ava, uh, Ava Thomas lost? Excuse me, as what a play. Chloe Bogush got it all the way into the crease. I thought it might have slipped behind Hadutsky. Hadutsky did end up getting her hand on it. But man, Bogush, great run. Looked kind of effortless. It caught me off guard, to be frank. Lost my train of thought there. My goodness, what a play by Chloe Bogush. And oh yeah, I remember. That's how impressive Avon Grove has been on these face-offs. They've been physical. They've been content to tie up Thomas and crash the circle as opposed to trying to do all one-on-one, -on -one, if you will, in the circle. Sullivan had a head of steam. I can't say I blame her. It was a good play by Emmy Sullivan to have awareness and say, oh, man, not everyone's back on our side yet. Stopped on a dime there. I don't know how. Something that's maybe more impressive than anything. You can see there's such great skill as Lily Schindler, front hand, back hand, but that's just perfect net minding by Violet Clark. I mean, if you're a youngin' out there watching this, that is how, take another look. Watch how she steps right up and into that. It was very subtle, but the second that Schindler got to the last defender, Clark makes herself big and attacks the puck. She didn't wait for the puck to come to her. She got out and attacked the puck. And I think if otherwise, we got a tie game at three. Huge save by Violet Clark. Thanks to Kevin Conley on the replay. As that one misses the stick of Brianna Register, it'll head all the way down. And an unfortunate break for Avon Grove, who really had something building offensively. L. Crawford will go and get it. Tried to flip it over. But Bree Hinkle on the fourth check. Keeps in the zone for the time being. Kira Post try to flip it up and out. And a fall and a three on one for the Red Devils. A hook should be coming up here. As Downingtown West wasn't able to get a touch on it. They should now. No, not called. And now we're gonna get a whistle. And another penalty, the third of the game on Downingtown West. The second called on Kyla Mellinger. <laughs> right next to the penalty box, and I hear Kyla uh, uh, kind of pleading, not pleading, but she kind of looked at her coach and goes, I let go. <laughs> she did. She let go of the stick. Kind of sheepishly. 
<laughs> she said it again. Nonetheless, the third penalty, but no, a shorthanded for Ava Thomas. Down a woman, five on four, no problem for the World Juniors gold medalist. And she's got a hat trick. The Whippets back up two. Man, that play happened so fast. When you got Ava Thomas on the ice, you can't make one mistake because she will do things like this. Slip behind the defense, in alone with a net miner, and she's not gonna lose this battle too many times. She went right last time. Woo she put a little more pepper on that one. Thomas with a hat trick already. Her fourth point of the game as well. And watch out, Ooh, she was ready to go for it again. Wow. <laughs> God, 10 goals, ladies and gents, last uh, finals. Trying to put on the four check. Oh, she might have got away with one there. Had the stick near the skates. Schindler, nice move, pulls it back. I was watching uh, her interview with Flyers Cup president Eric Ty in the selection show, and it, that one actually, hang on, more on that later. Opportunity here, another play by Chloe Bogush. As I was saying, it's Bogish. Tries to make some magic of her own here. Backhand, forehand, backhand again! Wow, kick save and a beauty! Hadunski just barely got her skate on at the last moment. Almost back-to-back -back shorthanded goals for the Whippets, which would have been a killer. But Ty asked Ava Thomas, like, what happened? You know, how, how the heck do you score 10 goals, let alone in the championship? And Thomas, she's just so honest in the answer. She, you know, of course, she didn't really know exactly. No one really knows how they scored 10 goals, but she said, you know, it's just that championship feel. You look out at these girls you play hockey with as the power play ends for Avon Grove. You look, you look around at these girls that you go to school with, you play hockey with, and... You know, the moment just becomes so large, and Ayla Thomas is, is clearly a big game player as that one fires in. It's one of the nice things about the Flyers' Cup at this level is that you become eligible for hockey in the eighth grade, and seen some really impressive eighth grade play. Taylor Graves last week, I believe with Conestoga as an eighth grader, and uh, just checking my notes here, when in eighth grade, Ava Thomas put up light numbers in the Flyers' Cup. Four goals and four assists in two games played. Light numbers. And in eighth grade, she was all tournament team. She was the highest scorer in the Cup. She won the Bobby Clark MVP. Bogish, what a move. Backhanded in. What a play. Chloe Bogish. She's been trying to get some of these moves. Looking like an all-star game. Went with a forehand so quickly back to the backhand and snuck it in. Three goal lead for the Whippets. Take another look. Bogish, blue line to blue line. Cuts it in, not once. Back to the forehand and then twice. You know what, no. She never even got it back on the forehand. She like faked it to the forehand. Let the puck, like she, she had the momentum of the puck skating in front of her. So she faked like she was going back to the forehand but never put the puck back on her stick, I don't think. And then scooped it into the net, wow. What a play by Chloe Bogish, who, for all the ooing and awing to be done about Ava Thomas, Chloe Bogish has been lights out defensively and now doing it on the other end as well. Off the pipe, it's loose. Sticks jamming for it. Where's the puck? Are we going to get a signal? You got parents behind, fans behind, trying to point to the net, but it's not going to work. Violet Clark stands tall. Take another look at that, as I thought I saw an official point down, but no. Just great composure by Clark to reestablish herself. Notice how she didn't make any flailing motion as to make the situation worse. As once again, diving on it. Violet Clark's been fantastic. But didn't make any extreme motion. Sometimes, obviously, even if it's with your arms, your leg might move a little bit if you're flailing. Very calm, just said, all right, puck's here. Let me just reach up, put my hand on it, glove it down, and hold on. Ava Thomas in alone again, goes to the backhand, but I think maybe going too fast for her own good, the momentum of the puck going so fast that it rolled over her stick, and she couldn't get it in cleanly. No hooking call that time. 
Three on two now for the Red Devils. Campanil has a shot. Whistle was blown. And unfortunately for Avon Grove, a big break for Downingtown West. It looked like it was glove, but I can't really blame the official because it really did look like it was gloved comfortably by Violet Clark. But I think actually the shot went, the shot went directly into the glove of Violet Clark. That she like lifted the glove as it came into her, and as it came into the glove. I'm not, I'm not explaining this well. It's a weird momentum play. And long story short, the puck actually went out of the glove of Violet Clark. It would have been a huge opportunity for Avon Grove, but unfortunately for the Red Devils, the official had already blown the whistle for the freeze. Such a tough play. As now down three, under a minute to go. That would have been a huge opportunity to close out that second period with some momentum for the Red Devils. Can Avon Grove get a little momentum? One last rush or two. A couple shots on net before heading to the third period as Spilling to the ice is Molly Tursey. The hands stay down, 30 seconds to go, as Thomas wants one more before we head to the final frame. Fifteen seconds. Might be icing. Nope, no icing. Unders 10. Bouncing puck. And that's how period number two will come to an end. So after a back and forth first period, the Whippets catch fire. Ava Thomas scored two, and Chloe Bogish got in on the action as well. That's how period number two will end. Five to two, the Whippets lead it. But you know Avon Grove's not gonna go out without a whimper. So, ladies and gentlemen, in between periods, gives me an opportunity to remind you that for all the Flyers Cup gear, please go to the Flyers Cup website. Check out all the swag provided by Top Shelf. We'll step aside for a brief moment here on the Flyers Cup YouTube. We'll be back in just a minute for the final period of play. The Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall showcases. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The Flyers Cup YouTube sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Josh Saffron here on the call on the Flyers Cup YouTube with what has been a fantastic night of hockey so far. 2-2 two -two after one. Then the Whippets fired off three goals in a row in the second period. In between periods here with Sweet Caroline playing at PNY Arena. The Whippets are taking pictures on digital film. They're having a ball. You don't want to start celebrating too early, though, if you're down in town west. There is a lot of hockey to be played. An Avon Grove team that, well, you can't play fire. You don't want to mess with the Red Devils. Team that, as I will remind you, they outscored opponents 146 to 28. One loss. One loss on the season. These Avon Grove Red Devils. There's a Westchester, excuse me, Downingtown West. 
beat Westchester Henderson in the semifinals. Avon Grove beat Conestoga 10 to nothing in the semis. Skyler Green crosses the blue line. Green centering pass was sticked away. Floated through the crease dangerously for a moment. But the Whippets catch a break. I think it was Kyla Mellinger there. Used the body there to create some separation. Then the stick. Poked that puck loose and could be trouble. Good aggression here on the shift from Mellinger. She plays it behind. Ava Thomas cut off. Nice defense. Campanilla had it taken away. Now Vitali tries to play it behind successfully to Ava Thomas. Thomas, watch out. Backhanded try. Didn't have a ton on it. And an easy freeze for Ella Hadutsky. 15 minutes to go. It's such a tough game to play down three. Knowing the firepower that this Whippets team is capable of. You want to get as, aggress as aggressive as you can, but you know Ava Thomas has already done it twice tonight. How quickly she gets down the ice, either with the puck or without the puck. She's done it in both ways tonight. In one sense, she gets the puck, and if you don't have reinforcements already back, as off the face-off, crossbar and down. Oh, man. Almost 6-2 here in the third. But Avon Grove, the Red Devils, catch a break. As it was promising there for a moment, Riley Sagers, excellent positioning from her, got back and made sure that didn't start a breakaway. Chopped all the way down. And Mellinger wisely lets that go all the way down. She'll take the ice in. So Downingtown West, the three seed, five and 11 this season in the Patriot division. But a big reminder, Ava Thomas only played in eight games this year for Downingtown West. She, uh, well, we'll say she had uh, other duties to tend to, like uh, playing for the national team, the U18 national team, of course. But this does imply that they did lose a couple games that Ava Thomas played in. So it's certainly not an insurmountable game. Star power is legit, as you've been able to see tonight. Great opportunity saved by Hadutsky. Saucered up. I think it hit the skate of Kira Post. Post hustling for it. Opportunity here for the Red Devils. L. Crawford blocked. Huge block from Kyla Mellinger. Jumping through skates. Shot and scored! Emmy Sullivan! A huge goal to get the Red Devils back into this game with plenty of time left here in the third period. Emmy Sullivan take another look. Avon Grove caught Downingtown West a bit off guard. I think Downingtown West was already looking to start a run of their own, but going weak side, small sliver of the net left open. Sullivan picked it out. Sullivan, this is what I was saying about this Avon Grove team. They have certainly got some star power at the top, but then you got so many goal scorers scattered throughout. Like Emmy Sullivan at 15 this season. Maggie Sullivan at 11. Brianna Register, who's a defense woman, had seven goals, seven assists. So it's just a can't take anyone lightly here on this Red Devil squad. Two goal game. As that shot beautifully done by Hadutsky. Nice pop on that one as well from Bogus. She already has a goal tonight. So big momentum swing as Downingtown West felt like they had really taken over this game of the second period. If nothing else for Avon Grove, that's a huge confidence builder with so much time left. They were held scoreless in all of the second period. Aggressive pass works. Campanelli could be in alone. Jams it in. Clark got out on net. She's out of position, still down, finally recovers. 
The puck is bouncing around, loose, rolling on its side. This couple players go hard in the boards. And the Whippets look to avoid danger successfully. Oh, a scary moment for Downingtown West. Now here comes Ava Thomas. Bogush got the rebound but missed the net. Dutsky sat down there, and not on purpose of course, kind of just ended up on her seat. Pucks behind the net, Campanelli and Bogush kind of screening battle. We'll just get a whistle. 12 minutes, just under 12 to play here. Blows my mind here. I don't have, you know, I'm not sure how official these stats are. And look up these school names and find websites. And, you know, it looks pretty good to me, but I'm looking at Violet Clark, and she had a 3-7 three, three and seven record and a 9-0-5 goals allowed average and I mean I, I would not be able to tell that number seems inflated to me the way she has played not only tonight but in the semi-final game very impressive stuff from the netminder Violet Clark somehow Ava Thomas stayed on sides there Emmy Sullivan maybe some gamesmanship if nothing else was doing her trying her darndest to just subtly skate and kind of fall forward to push, because we're gonna get a penalty to push Ava Thomas off sides. And we're gonna get a whistle, I think a cross check, and it's gonna go against Ava Thomas. Yes, indeed. So I might have been right there with the gamesmanship call, maybe frustrating Thomas a bit as well. I, I I didn't see it personally. I was I think I had my eyes on the puck and it might have been behind the puck a little bit. So a minute and a half. Thomas will be in the penalty box. Huge on the penalty kill. And an opportunity here for the Red Devils to not only skate a woman up but to skate without having to defend the most dangerous player in maybe all of Pennsylvania. Tercy lets one rip, but gloved nicely by Violet Clark. 20 seconds off the penalty. If you hear that loud thumping, guess who? Ava Thomas from the penalty box trying to make her impact any way, shape, or form, even if She's in the sin bin for the next minute or so. Took a weird bounce. Good composure from Riley Sagers. And a nice clear from the Whippets with a minute on that penalty. Tercy plays it up. It's Emmy Sullivan. Sullivan sticks with the puck behind the net. Goes back out to Tercy. Tercy. Fires one on, nicely done by Clark, covering up the five hole. Tercy's putting her hands on her head as you communicate with Campanelli. I think, I'm wondering if Campanelli was saying, wait a little bit next time, let me string the net, let me get in front. Campanelli kind of made some motion almost as if to say, let me, let me get a chance to redirect that or something. It's the right idea by Tercy. Uh, maybe not exactly what Avon Grove drew up. An opportunity here for Campanelli. Shot, glove down, rebound. Excellent recovery, Kyla Mellinger, to chop that out of harm's way. As we could have had a one goal game, 20 seconds on the penalty, and they'll clear the zone once more. Miranda Post almost in danger as Madison Vitali had the four check. Now just 10 seconds. One last opportunity for the Red Devils. We'll go off the stick of Skyler Campanilli. And all the way back. We're back even, five on five. And Thomas is out of the penalty box. They try to get it up to her. Nice awareness on that penalty, or excuse me, or lack thereof on the power play. But Campanilli, in alone, shot, gloved away by Clark again. Clark has been fearless tonight. 
A consistent theme has been her jumping into the play, not waiting for the play to come to her. Great defense on Ava Thomas once more. Boga, she's been fantastic. Oh, she beat the netminder, but couldn't get it on net. Played up. That one goes sky high. Hit a couple of sticks. Under nine to play in regulation. Schindler crosses blue line and runs right into the ref. Wow. Don't see that every day. Bogus takes it away at neutral ice, but a better recovery from Miranda Post. A slip, Bogus is there. Bogus stops, floating in the crease. And watch out, it's Miranda, excuse me, it's Kira Post, and we'll get a whistle. Nope, wave it off. We had a whistle all the way back. No goal. We'll get a penalty. A cross check on Maggie Sullivan. Goal is waved off for White, I'm hearing. Maggie Sullivan with a cross check. I'm not sure Avon Grove realizes it. Wow, what a swing and a timeout from Downingtown West. Woo, talk about a swing and momentum. And we'll take this brief pause in the action. We'll let you know that for all of your Flyers Cup gear, please go to the Flyers Cup website Check out all the swag provided by Top Shelf. So I'm not sure if there was something that happened earlier and the ref had a whistle and he just couldn't hear it, or if there was a cross check made in the middle of that run. Either way. What a big swing in this game, in this championship game. Oh man. So 5-3 is our score. I think Downingtown West calling a timeout here. Kind of to just, I don't know if humbling themselves is the right word, but using that goal that was called off almost as a warning saying, well, you got lucky that time that that didn't count. Look at how quickly this game can get away from us. Got to recollect, play. Uh, you don't want to play as if it's tied. That might be too extreme because you know, I think that would imply a little more aggression and leaving your defense open. As the officials starting to get a little bit restless, they blew the whistle a few moments ago. As the whippets break the huddle. Man, oh man, what a big call. I will say, Avon Grove didn't have too much of a complaint about the penalty, so it must have been legitimate to some extent. I just did not have eyes on it. I was pretty confused. I heard the whistle before the puck went in, well before the puck went in. It was not simultaneous. As a nice clear to start the penalty kill for the Red Devils. Eight minutes to play. Halfway through the final period now. Wow, that was a nice poke check. Almost was a short-handed goal. Not a goal, short-handed chance. Could have led to a goal. Those Red Devils. Yes, it's a five-on-four. Obviously, this is a lethal Downingtown West power play as that one scooped up and out of play. It'll be an attacking zone face-off for the Whippets. But five-on-four, like I was saying, open ice, down two. There is no tomorrow. I think if you're Avon Grove and... Do you really believe there's some open ice and an opportunity to have? You gotta take it at this point. I think we've seen that already. Give or take, 40 seconds killed already of the penalty for the Red Devils. Is that one? Oh man, coach's dream on that clear. 40 seconds now on the penalty, Vitali. <laughs> opportunity for Thomas, Thomas just missed. 
I chuckled myself because Vitaly just said, that's my fault. I didn't even notice that. That puck went off the official and right into a perfect opportunity for Ava Thomas, who was looking for an all-important insurance goal. Would have been her fourth of the game. Vitaly plays behind. Hadutsky will freeze it. Dutsky that time letting every second tick off that penalty. Smart net minding. Whew. It is getting tense in here. Some of that fun spirit, the a lot of laughs, a lot of good vibes over here by Downingtown West. It's certainly tightened up a little bit. Oh, aggressive play by Skyler Campanelli. She was trying to poke it and in one motion kind of turn up ice as we're back to full strength, five on five hockey. Six and a half to play here in regulation. Puck jammed along the boards. Vitali screening, it's finally loose. And he'll do it again just a couple feet away and we'll have a penalty. Who's this on? Might have coincidental. See Chloe. So we got coincidental. Oh man. We got a cross check called on Chloe Bogush and a roughing called on Skyler Campanelli. Campanelli. Excuse me. So we'll skate four on. I think tight. One, two, three, four for the whip. That's one, two, three, four, five for Avon Grove. <laughs> and we're waiting on the whippets. They didn't get the memo, it appears. <laughs> Finally. It's I believe that's Sarah Goodman. No, excuse me. Grace Goodman. Joining the ice for the whippets. But back to what I was saying here. It's not that it was. Sure, it's uh, coincidental. But you're losing two big players for the next minute and a half of this championship final period. Bogus and Campanelli, not two players you want off the ice for either side. As this time, the official wisely blows the whistle early. Doesn't want a repeat of that last scrum. 5.52 to play here in regulation. Puck didn't move. There were so many sticks, so many bodies jockeying for position. No one could get their stick or even their skate on the puck. Thomas just dumps it down. A rare sight. Surprised I didn't see her stop on a dime, turn around, and wow the crowd again. Mellinger. Nice job to find a lot of open ice. Slapped by Vitali and Mellinger will just keep it in. Riley Sagers, big play to hustle for it and stop an Avon Grove breakaway. Ooh, nice move by Skyler Green. But getting her stick in the way was Riley Sagers. Green recovers, head up, looking for reinforcements. It's in the crease, pucks loose. And diving on it is Skyler Clark. Another defensive, or excuse me, another great play by Clark. But it looks like Sager and Mellinger here on defense. Watch it how open this crease is. Oh, for a brief moment, it looked like L. Crawford had it. The recovery was just in time. We almost had a one goal game. Big faceoff win by the Red Devils, but Ava Thomas, too speedy. No, excuse me, that's Madison Vitali, too speedy. Getting to that puck, making sure Avon Grove didn't have a chance on offense. Offsides called there. 
Under five to play. Things starting to tighten up in a free flowing game for the majority. Probably the last six and a half to seven minutes, or I guess around the six and a half, seven minute mark since then. It's gotten a little more rough. Neither team wants to make that big mistake. A few more whistles. The flow of play has gotten just a bit more choppy. Sullivan can't clear Bogus. She's back on the ice. So is Campanelli. Mellinger. Wow, stick down. Bold play, but it worked. Skyler Campanelli again. They've kept her off the... Uh, she may have had an assist, but she's, they've at least kept her away from scoring, which is pretty rare. Picked out by Maggie Sullivan. Sullivan almost had a run of her own. Thomas in alone. Shot scores! Ava Thomas with under four minutes to play might be the finisher. Her fourth goal of the contest. What a play. Take another look. Bogish kept the puck in for a moment. And don't go napping for one moment. Thomas on the four check, takes it away, skates it in, and I think she went five hole on that one. Fourth goal of the game should be no surprise. That's her sixth goal of the Flyers Cup. She also has at least one assist in tonight's game. So if you're Avon Grove, there is a big difference between three and two with this amount of time left. Gotta just unload whatever you got left, everything and the kitchen sink. Keep an eye out for Ella Hadutsky, see if she gets pulled. Hits the skate of the official. Man, these officials have gotten the worst of it tonight. Gotta get them some hazard pay here. Abby Sullivan. Great stick work from her, but couldn't keep it alive. I mean, she was taking on the whole defense herself, doing everything she could as we tick under three minutes to go. Thomas just kind of waving sticks away, calmly skating in. Wow. See how much power she generated on just a wrist flick that time? Ooh, that'll hurt. What a fearless play. Another one. I feel like Kira Post has been doing that all night. Chance for Skyler Green. Oh, gosh. Man, what a nice play. He's got a goal tonight, and it was a dazzling goal. Looking for a second. And it hasn't just been about her goal. She's really been excellent defensively. A little over two minutes left. Probably got a score on this rush, and hold on. A legitimate chance here. That's post, post, shot, whoa! What a goal, pipe and in. You had to have it if you're the Red Devils, and don't go anywhere just yet. We still have two minutes of hockey to play at PNY Arena. Kira Post wants to let you know, take a look. I said they had to have it. Post knew it. Man, Thomas was about to make the play. Ping, you can still hear it echoing off the pipe. What a beautiful play. And we'll take a timeout. Oh, man. Don't celebrate too early. Not that anyone was, I'm just saying. I felt like, the, I said, it felt like the finisher for Ava Thomas on that last goal. You go up three with three minutes left. Heads up play, beautiful pass outlet to Kira Post who had seven goals and seven assists in the regular season. But man, I would be shocked if any of them looked and sure as heck sounded as pretty as that one. It's what any hockey fan's favorite sound. And, a little ping followed by a <laughs> We got a wave going on at PNY Arena. Fun for everyone. <laughs> Coming back the other way. Downingtown West fans. Trying to get into this. Oh, you love to see it. 2.11 to go. 
Rihanna Register says something to Ella Hadutsky as they go back out. All right. Tying up those laces. It ain't over. Big face off, I imagine it'll be Thomas and Campanelli. It'll actually be Madison Vitali and Campanelli. As Vitali wins it, but Kira Post is the first one to it. Behind the net. There's Post. Post blocked by Bogish again. Back to Post. Off a couple of sticks. Loose in front of net. Bogus tried to clear, but off the skate of Zelesnik. Campanelli. It's floating in the slot. Hadotsky still in net, by the way. Keep glancing over. She's not moving. Finally able to free it up. Minute and a half to go. Oh, it was a good spot. Too many sticks in the way. It was Emmy Sullivan who had the shot attempt. Sullivan now goes and gets it. Sullivan's able to maintain possession, but Vitali comes in, takes it away, sends it all the way down, and we'll get an icing. With a minute and four seconds left. Gotta score a goal real quick, being down two. Expect a shot off the faceoff if Avon Grove is able to win it. Their faceoff has been really good tonight. Thomas and Campanelli. Schindler turned around as we hit the last minute. And the Whippets are able to clear. Sagers, tape to tape, Mellinger. And she takes a spill. Good recovery by the Red Devils. It's a four on three. Schindler, nice defense. Vitali got her stick on it, under 35 seconds. Thomas steals the puck, 30 to go. Mellinger, 23 to go. No time to freeze. Trying to add on. And somehow, Ella Hadutsky was able to glove that out of midair. With under 15 seconds, the Whippets are starting to celebrate. As just basic laws of physics are starting to tell you, it might be over. Maybe you could get one, but to skate all the way down the ice, score, win a face-off, skate all the way down the ice. In 15 seconds, we got a, we got a whistle here. No face-off, no face-off. Face-off win for the Red Devils. They chip it up. Good play as the last gasp. But way to cut off the angles, Ava Thomas, and that will do it! Back to back champs! The Downing Town West Whippets win it six to four! There's a garage sale with all the sticks, helmets, gloves on the ice as the first back-to-back -back Flyers Cup champions in the girls' division since 2019, the Downingtown West Whippets. They went up 2-0. Avon Grove fired right back in the first, tied it up at two. But it was that all-important second period for Downingtown West. They scored three. They went up 5-2. Avon Grove had an answer in the third to make it five to three. Ava Thomas with a little over three minutes left buried another to make it six to three. Credit Avon Grove, they never gave up. It was Akira Post, beautiful off the pipe goal to give Avon Grove some life with two minutes to go. 
But it was at that point that Downingtown West defense stood up tall and made sure they came out of here champions once again. Thank you so much for joining me. Josh Safran here on the call with the Flyers Cup YouTube. As the handshake line after a fantastic season for both of these squads. We'll stay here for the trophy ceremony. Kevin Conley producing. And Ian Sauer on camera. Big thank you. And another big thank you to Eric Ty for making this all happen. Such a great event with such great memories. And in the words of Eric Ty, and well, I'll say it too, the greatest player, at least in the girls' division of Flyers Cup history, Ava Thomas. I'll step aside and let Eric Ty take it away from the trophy ceremony.
nothing better than that that jubilation of victory ladies and gents thank you so much i'll just real quick wanted to share the all conference the all flyers cup tournament team here uh for avron grove lily schindler and skyler campanilli on the all tournament team and for downingtown west of course ava thomas madison vitale and chloe bogish earned all tournament team honors well deserved from casey missed it ava thomas well for the third time in her career Won tournament high score, won the Bobby Clark MVP, and is, yes, like I said, on the all-tournament team. Well, actually, the, the fourth time she's won tournament high score, but the third time she's had all those accolades, including Bobby Clark MVP and champion. And guess what? She's just a junior. So for Josh Saffron, the Flyers Cup YouTube and SFBN, I'll be signing off saying thank you so much for watching along with the Flyers Cup. And without a doubt, I will be seeing you next year once again. Have a good night, everybody, and a huge congratulations to the Downingtown West Whippets. The Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall showcases. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited.